my dear friends, Josie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I want to speak to you today about negative karma or something like bad luck and curses. If there is somebody out there who is doing something to you right now that is causing you to suffer, some you know negative events are happening in your life right now because of somebody else's negative intention or because somebody doesn't like you. If that sounds familiar, I want you to watch this video because I will share some ideas with you that will help you to change that. Change that thinking once and for all. So I want to tell you a story that I recently heard from Sadhguru. Once a man went on a journey and he was walking a long time and he got tired and he saw a tree. So he sat under the tree and thought to himself, if I could only find a place to sleep because I'm just so tired. And the second he thought about it, there was a beautiful layer of green grass to just in front of him. So he was so happy, he laid on the grass, he fell asleep, and he slept for hours and hours. Then when he got up, the first thought in his head was, you know, mm, wouldn't that be nice to have something to eat now? And the second he thought about it, a table appeared with all kinds of delicacies and amazing foods. And he was so hungry, he didn't have questions, so he ate it all, he enjoyed it so much. And then he thought to himself, maybe I should get a drink. And of course, the second he thought about it, all kinds of different drinks appeared on the table, so he was drinking, enjoying himself. And then it started to occur to him, this is really strange. How is it so that every time I have a thought, it manifests? And then he became afraid. He thought, maybe, oh, perhaps there are demons here or something. So the second he thought about demons, demons appeared. And he was scared and he was just out of his mind, crying out loud, oh my God, these demons are going to torture me. And demons started to torture him. Oh, that's it for me, said the man. I'm going to die. And he died. So what happened was this man was sitting under a wishing tree. So everything that he ever wanted manifested, whether it was a good thing or a bad thing, it just came true. So if you think of a universal energy as a wishing tree and you're always sitting under this tree, anything you want will be manifested, right? In the sense that your desires, your specific focus, your intention will bring you the same results. Is it possible that somebody out there is cursing you? Which is, by the way, a curse really is a negative intention sent to someone else. So you just want some, something bad to happen to another person. And because you are a spiritual being, you're an energy being, you're picking up those thoughts and emotions that are coming from another person. So what happens is you are being sitting under this tree. It's not that their thoughts are producing the negative results. It's you. And why? Because you are now developing fear in yourself. You're developing the thoughts of, oh my God, what is going to happen? You know, demons are coming. And you start manifesting things in your reality that are just completely your production and it's completely based on fear. Yes, it is true. There are people who may not like you. That happens to everybody. And by the way, Hear me out. Sometimes you sending energy to another person whom you don't like, you know, it's just part of our nature. Our brains are not wired for happy, positive things. It's helping us to survive. The negative thinking is actually a primary mode of thinking because expect the worst and this is how you can survive. So you can be prepared for all kinds of negative things. So we need to overcome that. Always remember that you are sitting under the wishing tree. So if you are aware of someone sending you negative vibration, just let it go. If you only remember this from this whole episode, I want you to remember this. The way you overcome, the way you remove all these negative energies is by L-A-F, laugh. And it's not laughing, it's life above 
fear. Remember, we're not removing fear because, you know, fear, we need fear. Fear is a great passenger. It'll tell you, you know, where to go and where not to go, but it's a horrible driver. If you put this in the front seat in the driver's place, it will take you to dangerous places. So understand that you are creating your reality. It's not nobody else out there who is doing these things, do you? And people can send you negative energy all the time. You know, this the more successful you get, the more people, the more negative energy people will send to you for their own insecurities, for their own fears. So what you have to adapt this way of being when you are always under this tree, when you are under the wishing tree, you can only create what is good and nourishing for you. If you are aware of some of the negative thoughts and vibrations, let them go. We are living life above fear. Fear is right here. We're living up here. We're raising our vibration. We're staying in that positive state of mind. We continue along with our lives. We're not paying attention. We're not thinking about these people and what they're doing to us. So we create our good luck and we create our bad luck. Don't let other people's vibrations lower you down below that fear level. This is a dangerous place to be. As I said, your fear is now taking the wheel and it's driving your life. We have to stop it. We have to exchange places. You need to take the control. So you cannot change other people. Understand this. But if you look at the nature of the universe, it is governed by laws. So you may ask, you know, why, you know, angels didn't protect me? Why angels didn't come? Or why didn't spirits protect me? Because spirits cannot work against laws. You know, just because you're tired and you don't want to go to work, you cannot pray to angels and say, you know, hey angels, can you please add three hours to my nighttime so I can get more sleep and then be, you know, get to work on time? It doesn't work like this. The only way it works is that we all collaborate and then we will arrange our life around the universal laws. You are the master of your own life and there's nobody's energy out there that can really affect you. If you find yourself with being affected by this, it's because whatever you're wishing right now under this tree is what is manifested. And you can change that. You can change at any point of time. Just a life above fear. Life above fear. Always repeat yourself life above fear. All right, you guys, and this is my wish to you. Be blessed. Bless everyone on your path, and this is also the way to have an amazing life. Blessings. Bless everybody. Send out good energy, and the good energy will come back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you, and I love you, and I wish you all well, and that's why I'm doing these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Many blessings. Um, thank you for subscribing to this channel, for sharing my messages with with your loved ones. I love you guys so much and I'll speak to you really soon in the next video. Bye-bye.